worm called Wallace, a hero beneath the surface. Written by Jamie Rose, illustrated by Stephanie Stilwell. Under the soil, under the surface, there lived a lowly worm called Wallace. No eyes in his head, his hearing wasn't great. Everyone thought he was only good for fishing bait. No feet, no hands, not a finger or a thumb. His body just a tube, from his mouth to his bum. To get around he stretched himself from fat to thin, greasing the soil with his slime and breathing through his skin. Always burrowing and digging since birth, poor Wallace had spent his whole life beneath the earth. Until one day he cried, My world is dark and my life is no good. I've never seen the sun and all I eat is mud. Wallace sighed and Wallace cried when from the dark a wise voice replied. Wallace, we worms are actually important and clever. In fact, I am the smartest of all worms. Call me Heather. Did you know that every worm is both boy and girl? We can be a sister and a brother. We can be a father or a mother. Oh Wallace, we are so very much more than wriggly fishing bait. We can grow to three metres long and lift 500 times our body weight. That makes us stronger than a bird and stronger than a crane. If we were a child, we could lift an aeroplane. In a single day, we can eat our entire body weight. And when we get hurt, our bodies can regenerate. Wallace listened, but still he cried. What good are my superpowers when I'm stuck in the mud? I'm just a slimy fat tube all filled with blood. I want to be important and I want to be great. Who cares if I can lift 500 times my own weight? Heather listened as poor Wallace cried. She thought long and hard until she replied. But Wallace, no creature could exist without us worms. You see, as we burrow and as we coil, we help pump oxygen all through the soil. This makes room for all the beetles and ants. And the slime that we leave behind is food for the plants. And as we gobble up all the mud, we digest it with our clever blood. Our bodies twist and our bodies wind until we poo nutrients from our behind. So without us worms, there would be no flowers or trees, and without them, no birds or bees. There would be no grassy meadow, no coral reef, no grassland, no forest, not a single green leaf. Wallace smiled, for now he knew what his life was truly worth. Because without his dirty work, there would be no other creatures on this great earth. How you can help worms like Wallace. Worms are the intestines of our earth. You can help them with these simple tips. Food. A compost pile is a banquet for worms. If compost isn't possible, leave grass cuttings or a small pile of chopped straw in a sheltered area. Water. Moisture helps worms move and colonise deeper layers of soil. This, in turn, helps water reach deeper parts of the soil. Digging 
digging or disturbing the soil can hurt worms, destroy burrows and damage their eggs. So only dig when absolutely necessary. Chemicals. Worms are extremely sensitive to any chemicals in the soil. What's more, worm eggs are laid close to the soil surface. So avoid using pesticides or weed killers. A worm called Wallace, a hero beneath the surface. This book is also available in a coloured paperback version. Simply click in the link provided in the description and that will take you straight there where you can purchase a copy to support the author. The End